The second district of Budapest has literally everything. On one hand you stroll on the busy and vibrant streets close to the city centre, while on the other hand you travel a few stops and you find yourself in the wonderful green areas of the Buda Hills. Hey, my name is Petra, I'm a Hungarian living in Hungary and in today's video we will explore both of this spectrum, so let's see what the second district has to offer. The second district of Budapest is the fifth biggest one with a total area of 36 square kilometers. It's 10 times bigger than the first district and it has the population of 90,000 people. The second district is also known for its high prices. The average rental price in 2014 was 373,000 forints. And if you would like to buy your own flat, that would be a little more than 3 million forints per square meter in average, which is insane. Okay, so I think the heart of the second district is the Seacaman Square, so let's start our journey there. The Seacaman Square is one of the biggest and busiest square and transport hubs in Budapest. Many important public transport lines stop here, like the tram 46 and the metro line M2. This square is also known as Moscow, in Hungarian Moskva Square, because that was the name of it from 1951 until 2011. The square got his name after one of Hungary's prime ministers, who served from 1899 to 1903. The square got fully renovated in 2016, so that it can handle the amount of people that cross it every single day. Walking a little bit further, we got to the Sena Square, where the biggest mall of the district, and also one of the biggest in Budapest, can be found. The Mamut Shopping Center. Other bigger shopping centers are Buda Gyöngye, Hüvi or the Rózsadom Center in this district. Along the street, we can also find the Milanaris Park, which is an eco-friendly place with a nice fish pond where you can sit down with your coffee to enjoy your time. This park serves as the venue for the annual International Book Festival and other important events. Let's walk a little on the Margit Karut or Margaret Boulevard and soon we will find another park, the Magfart Liget or park. This quiet and peaceful place is perfect for a rest where you can enjoy the laugh of the little ones and also find some treasures. If you enjoy these type of guides, please make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. So let's see what else can we find here. Our next stop is a little further, but not more than 10 minutes walk. The Gulbaba Street and the Tomb of Gulbaba. The street itself is the steepest one in Budapest, so prepare yourself. Gulbaba means the father of roses and there are many legends around his person. Originally he was an Ottoman Turkish dervish who died right after the conquest of Buddha. And although he was not the person who introduced the roses to our country, like many people say it, his life is now remembered with a beautiful rose garden and with a stunning viewpoint to the city.
So this was the part of the second district which is closer to the city center. If we travel outwards, for example with the 56A or 61 from the Silkalman Square, we arrive to the beautiful part of the district called Huvesvöld, which in English literally means cool valley, like the weather cool. This place is 8 kilometers away from the center and it's a very popular destination of hikers and bikers and for everyone who wants to spend some time in the nature. It's also the place from where the children's railway departures. This train holds a Guinness World Record as the longest railway line in the world where traffic and commercial service are operated by children. It's truly a one-of-a-kind experience. Because the railway is not operating strictly in the second district, I will not include the route itself in this video, but if you're interested, please subscribe to my channel and maybe I will include it in one of my future videos, so stay tuned! Around the Huvesvöld station, many hiking trails start, and today we're also going to walk along one.
So that was all I wanted to share with you about the second district of Budapest. Let me know what your favorite places are or what are you looking forward to see when you're visiting. Subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out the next episode of this series and see you in the next one. Bye!